Haloi Jibakor, a lawyer to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Nnam Kanu, on Monday, wrote an open letter to the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami. Politics Nigeria reported that in the letter, Ijimakor said the update about the Malami requesting for further proof in relation to some aspect of Kiare's investigation has created a new legal connection between Haba Kiare and Marzi Namdekano. The IPOP lawyer argued that if Malami can offer legal advice in the extradition processes of Kiare, who is wanted in the United States for his part in frontline activities by Raymond Habers, popularly known as Hush Poppy, Namdekano is equally entitled to any legal advice that imparts his persecution. Ijima Cross later in full. On the 13th March 2022, it was widely reported in the media that the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation issued a legal opinion, struck advice, exonerating DCP Habakiari from the allegation of money laundering, which forms the main basis upon which the United States of America is seeking Kiari's extradition to America. One of such publications in a well-respected national daily was captured, hush puppy. New legal advice from AGA's office exonerates Habakiari of money laundry allegation. In as much as this legal advice does not sit well with certain segments of Nigerians and even the Americans, that seek the extradition of Haba Kiari, it needs to be stated that the, the rendering of legal opinion or advice comports with the constitutional powers of the Attorney General of the Federation as preserved under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Suffice it to say that this very legal advice as the narrating Haba Kiari has created a new legal connection between Haba Kiari and Marzin Namdekanu. The connection lies simply in the fact if Haba Kiari is deemed entitled to such legal advice that will surely impart his extradition, Namdekanu is equally entitled to any legal advice that imparts his persecution. In other words, the pertinent provisions of the Nigerian Constitution and Nigerians' extradition act must be applied equally to all. Thus, Nandikanu is now entitled to a safe, same legal advice, which must include the following. Number one, under the universally recognized doctrine known as the doctrine of speciality, which pertains to extraditions, an extradited fugitive whether redemptioned or otherwise, is subject to persecution only for those offenses of which he or she was surrounded, extradited or redemptioned. Nigeria recognized this doctrine under Section 15 of Nigeria's Extradition Act, which provides that fugitive surrounded to Nigeria is not triable for any previous crimes. Where? in accordance with the law of any country within the common right. Any person accused of an offense committed within the jurisdiction of Nigeria is surrounded to Nigeria by the country in question. Then, so long as he has not had a reasonable opportunity of returning to that country, that person shall not be detained, whether under this art or otherwise, tried or otherwise dealt with in Nigeria for or in respect of an offense committed by him before he surrendered to Nigeria, other than the offense for which he was surrendered to, or any lesser offense, which may be provided by the fact on which his surrender was guaranteed, granted, or b, any other offense being one corresponding to an offense described in section 20 of this act of the same nature as the offense for which he was surrounded, provided that a person falling within this session shall not be detained or tried for an offense 
by the virtue of paragraph B of this session without the imperial consent of the country surrounding him. Two, to be sure, the foregoing provisions were are regards Nandikano breach in all their material particulars first as of 19 June 2021 when Nandikano was adopted in Kenya, he was facing four court charges, none of which included or bordered on terrorism. Today, the charges have been expanded to 15 current that include and bordered on terrorism. Arguably, this is a clear violation of the doctrine of speciality, especially in view of the principle that a person falling within this session, for example, Session 15 of Nigeria Extradition Act, should not be detained or tried for any new offenses without the peril consent of the country surrounding him. In this very instance of Nandekanu, the surrounding country is Kenya and there is no evidence that a consent was obtained before these new 15 current charges were brought. 3. The same doctrine of speciality is also recognized in the Kenya Extradition Act which at Section 6.3 in bracket states that a fugitive should not be surrounded or committed to or kept in custody for the purposes of surrender unless provision is made by the law of the requesting country or by an arrangement made with that country for securing that he will not unless he has first been restored or had an opportunity of returning to Kenya to be dealt with in that country or in respect of any offense committed before his surrender, other than A in bracket, the offense is respect of which his surrender is requested, or B in bracket, any loser, any lesser offense provided by the fact provided before the court of commuter, or C, any other extradition offense in respect of which the Antony General may consent to his being so dealt with. Arguably, these provisions have extraterritorial application to Nigeria because as regards Nandekano, Nigeria is the requesting country which fact has been affirmed by the sheer compiled presence of Nandekano in Nigeria. Number four, interestingly, Nigeria also strictly requires the self same doctrine or speciality to be respected when it comes to fugitive extradited from Nigeria to other countries. That is Section 3, 7 in brackets of Nigerians Extradition Act states that a fugitive criminal shall not be surrendered to any country unless the Attorney General of Nigeria is satisfied that he will not be detained or tried in that country for any offense committed before his surrender other than the extradition offense. In view of the foregoing, it has become necessary for the Honorable Anthony General to revisit the matter of those these new 15 current charges present, presently standing against Nandekano with in a view to urgently issuing a legal advice to the effect that all the new charges being withdrawn fourth weight. Failure to do so we amount to a clear violation of the doctrine of speciality as enshrined in Nigerians extradition act and equal protection of law as preserved in the Nigerian constitution. Okay. So guys, um driving it here, kindly share your your thought. Honestly, Ijimakor is a very brilliant lawyer. If international, internationally um, repetition for acknowledgeable, then Malami with so-called son, the house located in Kota Bay to him. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.